One of the important things within Plant 3D is being able to generate new equipment to uh, to pipe from and connect things to. Um, and we have numerous ways of doing this. We can either generate it within the application or bring things in that are already existing. So let's have a look at some of the features that allow us to do that. One of the first ones I'd like to look at is this command here, which is the inventor equipment importer which is using this new Autodesk, Autodesk ADSK file format. Now the difference between ADSK and like DXF, DXF is just solid geometry which is dumb, it's not bringing anything with it. What ADSK is doing is actually bringing some of that information that has been populated in the inventor model through into the plant environment. So showing some of the connection details etc. So let's just show you a little bit more of that. So I'm just going to select this uh, chiller unit etc and there he is he's brought in that was generated in inventor place it in and just literally bring it in now this what you do when you bring it in you're actually specifying what that piece of equipment is going to be so if it's not there for example I'm just going to select miscellaneous equipment so that's just the data set that's going to be assigned to this piece of equipment okay so obviously it's been simplified with inventor so fillets chamfers nuts bolts etc have been removed before that adsk has been exported and that's something called shrink wrapping that's done within inventor so as you can see here we've got two connections which have been brought through from that inventor model but the water droplet is showing that it's an open connection still but if you look there it's actually saying that nozzle one is flanged 152.4 nominal diameter 300 bar now that might not be a nozzle that's in this project spec so what we have to do is if you select it you'll see this little pencil symbol if we select that we can actually edit that nozzle that's come through and we might say well actually the uh, the diameter of that nozzle is actually 150 now you can see that a nozzle's appeared because that is in our spec and we might say well actually it's in inches so you can see now we're assigning to here this that it's a nozzle flange, 6 inch normal diameter, raised face, 300 ASME B16.5 flange. But we can add other nozzles if we needed to. So I'm just going to assign that and close it. So if we now hover over that nozzle, you can see that it's now actually given the ASME B16.5 flange there. So what that means to us is if we come and select our 300 carbon steel spec, 150 diameter um, spec out of there, we can now actually hit the plus and start routing intelligent pipe work off there um, and that will automatically pick up the the bolts the gaskets etc etc within that environment and there we go we can just keep routing that but it's just to prove that we can actually connect this flange to that piece of equipment okay so another thing we can do is actually uh, just use standard solid geometry um, I've got a this is just a solid object which has been degenerated in standard AutoCAD etc. So one of the other features in Plant 3D is the ability to use this command which is convert existing 3D solids into plant equipment. So I do, it can select that, select the solid objects, hit return, again assign what it is, so this time it's going to be a vessel, so that will pick up the metadata for our scheduling etc. And where we insert it from, so let's say it's on the base plate. And there we can start seeing this where we can start adding information by the manufacturer, uh, the weight of it, the type, etc, etc. We can fill that information in which we will schedule out for us. So we can now select OK. What we've got now is the ability to select it. And you see this symbol, we can actually come and we can add nozzles to this. So even though this was just solid geometry, we can actually add a nozzle, say, to the centre of that and its direction is that way and here is the nozzle information itself so again we can change its type it's a straight nozzle it might be a hundred this time it might be still in, in, in inches imperial and we can specify exactly what we're going to get there this time if we're going to route we may not on carbon steel 150 you might want carbon steel f uh, 150 up here like so and then we can actually come to this nozzle, select it, and start again routing. But this time we've, we've just used geometry that's been created out of standard AutoCAD. It's just solid geometry. And as you can see there, now I can start routing, piping 
off that piece of equipment. Okay, now what else we can do is it literally use the wizards and the equipment that is in Plant 3D itself. So this is the equipment generator that's in the system. This is straight out of the box, so I've not added anything into here, but as you can see, as you can come along, there's a quite an extensive library there that is able for us to generate this equipment. So if we look at pumps, for instance, come down, we may want to generate a centrifugal pump. Now the great thing about the equipment that's in Plant 3D is that it's all parametric driven. So you can see here off this diagram, the values that are there, and these are just driven by the values in here. So I can type anything in there. I might want the SL for the, the uh, base plate there to only be, say, a thousand. And when I hit create, it's literally created, and you can see there the base plate is really too short for that thing, but it's just because I've changed that geometry. And again, you can see the connections this time are already generated for you. So again, you can route from it if it's in your spec, or you can actually change that nozzle information and edit them. And likewise, if you bring in anything in there, so other equipment may want to create, say, a vessel. Um, so we're coming to here, we can do a horizontal vessel exact thing, so we can sp uh, specify the heads of the vessels. Uh, we can actually add geometry, so we can, you can see there, you can literally start creating all sorts of shapes for these vessels, the properties that are behind there. These are the nozzles that are on it. This is the information that you can start populating. And once you put it in there, you can literally place the horizontal vessel, etc., into the job. Again, select it. You've, you've got this add nozzle uh, command again in there so I can modify this I can select it or add nozzles to this so you can see there I've now got three nozzles I can specify the height on the nozzle which is this dimension the angle from the zero so I can type things in there and if I hit close it will actually just add that nozzle to that geometry so that's very nice way of bringing uh, and generating equipment so that's the three main ways that you're going to bring it in into plant 3d